You are at Fickle Creek Farm in Eflint, North Carolina, which is in Orange County, right in the center of the Piedmont region of North Carolina. And we describe Fickle Creek Farm as a small scale, diversified, sustainable farm. This farm right here is 61 acres. That's kind of the, the size of it. The sustainability part comes in with our practices. We are trying to produce food at the same time that we protect the environment and bring in minimal inputs from the outside. And that's always a challenge. The produce we, we grow is completely by organic standards and practices. However, we've chosen to not get certified because sometimes the, what I call, technically organic but not sustainable option just doesn't make sense we've decided to use locally milled feed, for example. The reason for that is to get the certified organic feed that we had available at the time. It came from a much longer distance. We sell retail direct. We do very little wholesale. So it's not like our product is on a shelf somewhere and the only thing the consumer has to go by is the, the stamp on it that says certified organic. We're very lucky in that we have a customer base that really supports us. They come out to the markets in rain or shine. Um, they appreciate what we're doing and how we're doing it. But that helps financially, of course, but that also gets us into kind of communally sustainable. The farmer and the farm workers have to make a living along the way too. So it has to be sustainable for the farmer first. This farm is what I would call a agroforestry system, a definition for agroforestry the inclusion of a woody perennial component in a farming system meant to produce livestock and or produce. So our trees, just like our livestock, we look at in two ways. They have service benefits and they have product benefits. So examples that we get from the trees are shade, um, improved aesthetics, erosion control, the trees are doing, doing a lot of things that aren't necessarily monetary income, but they, they are important services to be sustainable and to be an enjoyable place to, to farm. We heat our home with firewood, and so firewood is an actual product. So there are products as well from the trees. By having not only our crops and our pastures, but then completely natural forested areas, our biodiversity is much, much higher than most agricultural systems. The livestock that we have brought to the farm and that we have now all got here because we were trying to, to meet a need of the farm's sustainability. Chickens, for example, we started with laying hens. And yes, we want, needed the income, but we also needed the fertilizer that they were producing. And so not only did they produce the fertilizer, but they spread it and incorporated it for us. The chickens are really good for insect control as well, so we'll, and weed seed control. All of those are, again, our services first. <coughs> then I think we got pigs next. Their service at the, at the very outset was to eradicate noxious weeds that we couldn't get rid of any other way because of course we don't use herbicides and then we found out just serendipitously that they're also great for raising rocks from pastures and they bring them to the surface and then we can just go out and collect them much more readily they are great for understory clearing so we'll take a managed small woodlot area and we'll put pigs in it and they'll clear it the understory for us so then we can get in to do the thinning that we want to do now what we do as part of our standard procedure is to clear a, a paddock that has um, produce in it with sheep. So they eat all the vegetation, the remnants of, of a crop. Then we bring in chickens typically and they eat down even further and they eat weed seeds and scratch. And then um, finally we bring in the ducks and they just go right down the rows just like kind of shoveling along with their their beaks and slugs are gone. So, the, and, and of course, again, they produce um, eggs, so they're paying for themselves. We're at the very top of Cane Creek Watershed, which is the water for Carborough and Chapel Hill. This farm is a farm conservation easement, and that means we sold our development rights. 
um, so there will never be development on this property beyond what is here now. You've probably heard many times farming is really hard work, and it is. I do feel like we're just one of many farms in this area that are farming along these lines. And we do make a significant impact.